the amazing Tony Yazbek, who is starring right now in Beast in the Jungle, which is probably one of the best shows I've seen this year. Thank you so much. Tony, what choreographer influenced you? Oh, gosh. So many. I mean, I mean Gene Kelly was probably one of the first. Um, but uh, Jerome Robbins is probably the biggest influence, just because of how grounded he is in the, in the floor. And, the, the, the kind of intense uh, storytelling he did through dance. Um, those two would be the, the biggest, probably, but even tap dancers like Gregory Hines, the way he created a step, I, I, was, I was always in awe of that. Now, in Beast in the Jungle, you do a ton of different kinds of dancing. What did you draw from in yourself to play that role? Uh, you know, there's a lot to connect to in that show because it's about... Um, your past demons and how it prevents you from loving and accepting love. So I think we've all maybe can connect to that. And so I did it and I, I brought in some personal experiences to that role. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, so it, I, I definitely connected to it. And um, hopefully the audience picks up on their own experience when they come in and, and feels feels, you know, those parts of their lives that could have been or should have been, and maybe makes a change for the better now, that's what all this Now, when does Beast open, and how long does it play for? Sure, Beast in the Jungle opens uh, at the Vineyard Theater this Wednesday, and uh, we're scheduled to June 17th right now. Thank you. Yep. My name is Irina Dvorovanko. Now, you are amazing in Beast in the Jungle. What has brought you to this show? I mean, you're Thank you so much for so. Um, second of all, um, the John Kander, legendary John Kander, wrote the music for the Beast in the Jungle. And uh, tonight, uh, me and Tony Yazbek, my partner, we're going to perform a uh, little piece uh, from Beast in the Jungle. Oh, we're going to get to see it again? Yes. Okay. yes. You're exquisite. What choreographers made you want to go into dance? Actually, it's really hard to tell. Uh, I feel very blessed right now because nobody ever trusts me that much or believed in me as much as Susan Stroman did. And uh, she opened my heart and I have, I have a feeling like I have wings growing. You have That's how most, happy she makes me. You have the most perfect extensions I think I've ever seen. It's almost like your body grows when you extend. <laughs> Where did you draw within yourself to play that role? Um, I'm a very emotional person, and very sensitive and very vulnerable, at the same time very strong. So to be part of this play in so many different colors and stages of emotion, it just makes me feel very happy because I can express myself on stage. Well, I'm going to make a prediction that you're going to become a big star after this. Congratulations. God bless. Thank you so much. Thank you. The amazing John Candor, whose music and Beast in the Jungle is passionate and so lush and romantic. John, where did you dig from in your soul to come up with this music? Uh, I, I guess I just don't think about it. Uh, Susan Stroman and Tommy Thompson and I have been working on this for a couple of years. And if you, I've discovered if you, if you create a moment and it's very vivid. What what's coming next in your soul? What that what else can we expect from you? Well, uh, actually, there, there are two projects which I'm in the middle of, which I'm, I'm not exactly really the top of. Uh, there's, there's, there's plenty more coming unless I conk out some more. Well, I seriously was in love with your music and Beast in the Jungle, and I think it's an exquisite piece of theater. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Thank you so much.